What's going on everybody? It's your boy Teddy here for another video on my YouTube channel. Now, uh, today I wanted to bring you a slight pack opening and also a breakdown of one of the decks that I have been using on the TCG Online versus Ladder. Uh, I am dealing with a very crappy quality uh, f fucking laptop camera right now. As you guys can see, this quality is just fucking garbage. I'm also not doing it any justice with not putting anything over that light over there. Whatever. I'm not dealing with that. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a uh, mediocre pack opening, which actually worked out in my favor pretty well. I'm, uh, I'm a fan of how it turned out. And then I'm also going to break down the deck that I've been using for you guys. And I'm also going to show you uh, how it works in battle a little bit. So that'll be kind of fun, and I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's see what I got for you guys. So we have a bunch of uh, packs that we received from a bunch of very uh, very kind Twitter followers. Shouts out to all you guys that gave me these codes for these packs. Um, I will put the links to their Twitters in the description so uh, you guys give them a follow, everything like that. Very good people. We're going to start out with the Generations packs. Now, um, the only packs I'm not going to open today are going to be the uh, Steam Siege because those are the ones that are uh, worth anything on the trade market. <clears throat> so first we're starting out with the Generations. Really pray for that uh, Jolteon. I need to make myself a solid uh, uh, electric deck. We did grab uh, Pikachu, uh, full art, not too bad. Definitely a very solid addition to the collection. I can't complain about that one. Um, I really like the Generations energies. Very nice to look at. Ooh, and a Flareon and a Venusaur. Man, this is starting off pretty well, man. I can't complain so far. Uh, what is that, two packs in? And we got us uh, an Ultra Rare in each. I love it when there's three turned over. Oh my god! Oh my god! So we got two Flareon and a Golem. Uh, and then, uh, what was the other one? Uh, the Venusaur and then the Pikachu. Wow! <laughs> We're doing really well so far. Generations being really kind to us. Uh, let's see if we can keep this streak going. Always do with another color, uh, double colorless. And did not get another uh, ultra rare, but I will take that. <clears throat> On to the Ancient Origins. Gonna pray we get uh, like that Giratina, something like that. I honestly wouldn't even be uh, downtrodden if I got a Kyogre Groudon, something of the sort, and a Sceptile EX. Very nice. I'm <laughs> still going with the ultra rare streak. This is pretty awesome. Definitely not complaining right now. Uh, got this and then one more Ancient Origins pack. <clears throat> And we'll see what we can get here. Oh my god, dude, what is going on today? This is this is so amazing. This is such a great way to start off my day. I already have a Sceptile EX deck, though. I mean, that's, that's not to say that I won't be able to use those. Good trade bait. Alright, that was really good. That was a very solid uh, opening so far. And we also have one breakpoint, just to top everything off. And let's see what we get. Pray to Arceus, pray to Odin. Pray to a cupcake. Pray to something. Anything good? Anything good? Anything good? Ah, eh, whatever. Eh, not too bad. Alright, now we flow into our next portion of the video. So the deck I wanted to show you guys today is the deck uh, that I have been favoring on my uh, Versus Ladder Challenge on the TCG Online. It is based around Mega Mewtwo Y. Uh, now, Mega Mewtwo Y, as most of you or some of you may not even know, in the video games is regarded as one of, if not the, highest legit um, special attack in the game. Uh, the things that top it, I believe, are Soul Dew, Latios, and uh, Deep Sea Tooth, Clam Pearl. But uh, it's definitely way up there. I think it's like base 194 or something like that. Just something really fucking out of control. Uh, regardless, um, it is based around the Mega Mewtwo Y, like you see. Uh, but uh, wh who does get Psychic Infinity now? Psychic Infinity does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So now uh, it's going to do a base of 10. So it's always going to do 10 no matter what. And I do need two uh, energies of any color to um, make the attack work. So say I use a double colorless energy, that would only count as one energy. So that would only do uh, 30 more damage, making it a base of 40. Now if I use two different psychic energies on it, that would make it uh, 30 times 2, making it a base of 70. So you really can come out of here with a base of, uh, well, plus the original 10, would be a base of 80 coming out with two separate psychic energies. But where this deck really clinches other decks uh is its ability to become a tank deck as well as a, uh, a physical uh, attacking deck. Now, it can make really great use of its opponent's uh, energies, but 
while using the uh, trainer card, where is it? Uh, Shrine of Memories. There it is. Shrine of Memories, each player's evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolution, meaning that my Mega Mewtwo Y, while in addition to being able to use its Psychic Infinity, will also be able to use Shattershot, which does 30 damage times the amount of um, Psychic Energies attached to Mewtwo, and Damage Change. Now, Damage Change is huge. With the boost from 170 to 210, uh, Mewt uh, Mega Mewtwo actually can tank a lot more than Mewtwo uh, normally would. Now, uh, damage change allows me to switch all damage counters from my Pokemon uh, to my opponent's Pokemon. Meaning, if my opponent has, say, uh, 30 damage from one Shatter Shot from me, and I have 150 damage from a random attack from them, I can use my damage change, take their 30 damage that they have and my 150 damage, and put it onto them. Now, if they have a Pokemon with less than 150 HP, that means I get the automatic knockout. So. Say they have a really hard hitting Pokemon, but they didn't get their uh, build up enough, so they can only hit with a max of 190. And they have a Pokemon with only like 170. Alright, say they have a Flareon, and it only has enough fire energies to get it up to 190. And it attacks me, I get to use my damage change, I will be able to survive that being the Mega Mewtwo Y, and then I get to use my damage change to basically completely heal myself and take out their Pokemon. So this deck really, really comes in handy. Uh, it also runs the uh, Trubbish Garboder combination because the only Pokemon in the deck that has an ability is going to be Shaman, which is going to be the setup ability. Uh, the deck itself is really, really lacking in basic Pokemon. I have eight. Ba eh, eh, it's kind of enough, I guess. Um, in the ways of trainer cards, you get the uh, average staples and stuff, though I also put on Mega Turbo because while one double colorless energy does cover the cost of a Psychic Infinity, it doesn't raise the damage too much because I do need the extra energies on him to raise uh, the damage boosting. Um, Mega Turbo does a very good job of that. Uh, uh, pair that with Trainer's Mail, other stuff like that, um, Professor's Letter, you do have a very solid uh, ability of uh, recycling energies. Um, Fisherman is also very crucial if you want to recycle energies like I was saying. Uh, Fighting Fury Belt is definitely a very good alternative for a Mewtwo uh, if you want to give it that um, the HP boost to give it the exact same as Mega Mewtwo Y and even give it the um, what's it called the uh, damage boost so also a very good uh, alternative is the Fighting Fury Belt, but then in that case you won't be able to use the Mewtwo Spirit Link, which is also a very crucial um, component in the deck because you want to be able to attack the same turn that you have the Mega Evolution. I have three uh, double colorless energies, I mean I'm sorry, four double colorless energies to cover uh, Psychic Infinity in case I need to use it just right off the bat for whatever reason, and it also covers any Shaman um, <coughs> uh, attacks, any um, retreats that I may have to do, anything like that. So without further ado, I'd like to show you how this deck, uh, this deck actually works like in real play. So let's go see how that works out for us. Now this is a pretty drastic example of how like just generally overpowered this deck can be if you uh, use it right. Um, uh, my opponent in this battle, uh, I'm going to say really wasn't at either at the top of their game wasn't using their best deck or just was on like a different level than I guess I am doesn't really play competitively they didn't have too many EX's they didn't have too many anti EX's uh, they did have Lugia blah 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 uh, stuff like that um, didn't really work out in their favor this this video in its own right does give you a very good show of what uh, the tool cards and the item cards in this deck and uh, like what all the support Pokemon and stuff, what really they, they all do in a sense. So as you can see here, I, I have my uh, Fighting Fury Belt on uh, Mega Mewtwo Y. In the beginning, I was using this as just a regular Mewtwo, uh, but I did have to evolve it because I believe my first one was taken out. Um, but as you can see here, I do have my Shaman on the, on the bench, my Garboder is on the bench, so Garbotoxin is an effect. Garbotoxin is, is Garboder's ability, it means that if it has a tool card attached to it, then uh, both uh, people's abilities are nullified. So as you saw right there, I just did 280 damage to his uh, my opponent's Pokemon. I had two energies attached to me. Uh, I forget how much they had uh, attached to them. You could do the math if you're very quick on your feet like that, but whatever. Um, basically, it's going to be... Uh, 
270 divided by, oh, so what is it, 9? Did that mean they had 7 energies? I really should have been paying attention, but whatever. <laughs> uh, this deck does have some very decent counters. Um, if you're running a Carbink in your deck, you will most likely get uh, a, a Concede from me because this deck doesn't have anything to deal with uh, highly anti-EX uh, Pokemon, such as Regice with Regis Resistance Blizzard and uh, Carbink with its ability, uh, I, I forget what it's called. But regardless, any sort of Carbink break, any sort of Regice uh, deck, will give you a lot of trouble, but a very, very decent deck um, does a lot of damage very quickly and often gets uh, concedes, just like you saw. So there you have it guys, that is my Mega Mewtwo Y deck. Uh, as I have stated in my previous videos, I am a beginner, I have just started playing the TCG pretty recently, um, uh, despite being a long time collector. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I really appreciate all the help that all my followers, all my friends on Twitter, YouTube, all that kind of stuff uh, have given me. It's really appreciated to no end. You guys really don't even know. Um, this deck uh, is very incomplete. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could give me any sort of feedback, tips, anything like that. Um, Pokemon, uh, trainers, anything that would make this deck any sort of any bit better. Uh, I'm always looking to expand my horizons and just better myself as a trainer, as a gamer, everything like that. So thank you very much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it and have a great day.